Hi everyone, welcome back to Gage Hill Crafts. I'm Sarah Scully and I'm here to share with you one of my favorite um, summertime recipes, especially for taking to potluck uh, barbecues and dinners, um, of which there are quite a few going on uh, here. Um, and that's black bean salad. And uh, this is a great recipe for a, a bunch of different reasons. I'll get to, into those. Um, in just a second, but we had our own cookout um, here at the farm a couple of weeks ago. Um, thanks to everybody who came out for that. And we're going to another one at the end of the month. And there's, you know, there's always those impromptu, hey, come over and bring something and we'll play bocce or we'll, uh, we'll hang out outside. Um, it's a little overcast today and a little chilly, but uh, it's a nice break from the heat. Um, it's a lovely day out and hopefully you're getting some good time out uh, so far this summer. Um, so this black bean salad, uh, like I said, is a great recipe for, uh, for a number of reasons. One is that it's um, fairly uh, universally available to people um, regardless of their dietary preferences or restrictions. So it's gluten-free vegan. It doesn't have any nuts in it. It doesn't have any soy products in it. Um, so it avoids a lot of those sensitivities and allergies that seem to be more and more prevalent. Uh, among people. Um, it's it's inexpensive to make um, and it's not completely local, I'll admit that. Um, one of the main ingredients is avocado and we can't grow those in Vermont very easily. But um, the ingredients should be pretty available to you wherever wherever you live in the country. Um, so the, the primary ingredients, as I said, it's a bean salad. So we've got black beans, um, sweet corn, one avocado, some lime juice, um, a clove of raw garlic, so that's just one clove because it's not cooked, um, a handful of plum or cherry tomatoes, some chili powder, salt if necessary, and then optionally you can also add jalapenos and or cilantro um, to this. Now I know some people don't really like spicy food, so you can just put in you know half a pepper if you want. Um, some people are very sensitive to cilantro, they don't like the taste, so you can omit that if you like. Um, but I think both of those flavors, um, if you do like them, make a really nice um, balance. You've got sweet, you've got crunchy, you've got savory, you've got creamy, um, kind of all in one dish. And it's very easy to put together. Um, again, the complete instructions for this will be on the website, on the blog, so you can see all the amounts and proportions. Um, but I just use canned black beans. Um, you could also cook yours ahead of time and just strain them. Um, I use fresh sweet corn. Um, it's not quite corn season here in Vermont. That's going to come up in about a month. And when that happens, my neighbor always drops off the sweetest um, fresh corn that you can imagine. It's so sweet, you don't even have to cook it. You can just eat it raw right off the cob. Um, so that goes in. You can also use frozen corn if you're out of season. Um, and then a ripe avocado. You don't want it to be mushy, but you want it to be nice and ripe. Um, and the trick with keeping that avocado fresh in the salad is what I like to do is dice it up and mix that with the lime juice that goes into this recipe um, to really coat each piece of avocado in the lime juice and that keeps it from turning brown as quickly. And then you can dump all that, the avocado in the lime, right into the salad with the other ingredients. Um, the garlic clove, you're going to want to either press it through a garlic press um, or use a microplane grater, something that's going to get it uh, sort of squished up as you process it. So you want to release all that garlic oil and you want to make sure the pieces of garlic are very, very small because um, like I said, it is going to go in there uncooked. And then you're going to stir all the other ingredients in. Um, let it sit for an hour or two before your event. That'll help the flavors blend together. And I like to taste it right before I serve it. So give it another stir before you serve it, give it a taste, and then see um, if it needs, you know, a little more seasoning, a little more heat, a little more salt at that point after the flavors have developed. Um, I hope you'll try this salad. Uh, it's pretty quick and easy. It takes about 20 minutes to prepare it, um, even if you have to cook your corn a little bit. Uh, it's pretty quick, and like I said, it, you know, it does appeal to a lot of different uh, dietary needs. Um, and I found that it's a different kind of a thing to bring to a potluck. People like it, um, but it's not going to be 
you know, yet another macaroni salad or yet another potato salad. Um, so that's also nice is to bring something a little bit different uh, for people to have. So yeah, do let us know if you decide to make this or any of our other recipes. You'll find all of those on the blog. And the link for that is in the show notes below this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our videos for uh, all of our um, different things that we offer, recipes, interviews, um, other kinds of how-tos, and more. Um, so subscribe to our channel for our weekly videos. And thanks a lot. Leave us a comment or tell us what you're up to this summer. We'd love to hear from you. Cheers.